Hi everyone, it's Sketch your fashion drawing tutorials and in this lesson we're going to learn how to render Guapé fall 2017 uh, couture dress and here's what is interesting, we're going to work with moiré fabric which is heated and impressed silk it has this lustrous surface that looks like the reflection of light on the lake like on water, the reflection of sunlight so now I'm working with my sketch I am outlining the body, the corset. For darker skin, I usually use caramel color of Pro Marker. And uh, first, I'm showing all the shadows in the armpits, I'm showing the collarbones under her chin, and then I cover everything with one more layer of marker. And afterwards, I just add some stronger shadows here and there. So how does my pencil sketch look like? Well, technically something like this. I placed the belt at the waistline, then I drew corset, closed the chest, and then here we have the central part of the skirt, just a bit longer than your feet. Then it has these two parts, the front and back. And on the sides, I'm showing these cascading layers of uh, lighter fabric. So everything is really rough. I just want you to see how I placed everything, how the skirt looks like on A4 paper. So let's continue working with our sketch. I'm using tan color for this uh, smaller part because it's transparent and it's a bit lighter than her skin. I'm using oatmeal color for as a base color for her dress. It uh, looks a little bit like peach, soft peach color. So I'm coloring the belt. Then we have some darts over here. And I'm using warm gray one. So I'm adding some, as you can see, horizontal lines, like tiny ones, just to show the texture, adding some shadows. And now I'm going to draw the ornament with the pencil. So we have flowers, some long leaves. I provided the link to the photograph of the actual design under the video, in the video description, so you can redraw the ornament. So first I used warm gray 3, now I'm using slate color, a bit darker. I, I like combining several different tones. I'm even adding some raw sienna, some brown color. And after that I'm using white ink pen and I'm just drawing smaller details. Not like I'm really drawing like petals and everything, just adding some lines, some curves, some dots. So we're showing that the texture of this shining ornament. And then I'm using black pencil, also here and there adding some curves and uh, the same thing, but a bit less. And with white ink pen, now I'm showing that special shine of moiré fabric. So I think this looks pale, let's add a little bit more of color. It's uh, more of warm grey one. Uh, I'm going to cover her skirt, the central part, with two layers of Markham. And here, uh, you remember, we have these ruffles on the sides. I'm using Buttercup, which is slightly pale yellow, as a base color for the ruffles. And then I'm using khaki color. Basically, ruffles are folds, right? So that's why I'm showing some shadows with khaki color between those folds and at the base of them, where the fabric overlapping. So we have shadows over there. Uh, 
I'm adding more of warm gray one, some horizontal lines and on the sides. So it, it just gives this texture of the fabric. Now I'm using warm gray three just showing the edges of all these layers uh, adding more shadows where fabric is overlapping more of khaki so i'm leaving just a little bit of um, of that buttercup the base color just a little bit of yellow is left next i'm drawing the ornament again the motif is quite repetitive so again there are flowers and leaves and it will go on till the bottom, the bottom left corner. So now I'm using warm gray three again, and then I'm going to use slate. Let's add warm gray three also on the ruffles to make them a bit darker. And I'm showing the reflection of light on the fabric. So they, they look like this, like very stretched. You can check F-Sketch or Pinterest. I have different boards and one of the boards is called Moiré. And there I collect designs made with that type of fabric. And you can see how this reflection looks like on different designs. So you can have the idea and practice more. So I'm basically now repeating the same things that I did with this ornament on her corset. Now I'm putting sandpaper, just regular sandpaper, 400 grit on the marker paper. It's really important that you get some really thin marker paper because uh, you can manipulate it like this. So I put sandpaper and I'm using white pencil and I'm coloring like the lighter parts of this fabric. And as you can see, it has this grainy texture which really reflects uh, this fabric. It is like that, shiny and slightly transparent. And then I'm using black pencil just to highlight those folds and show the edges of the ruffles. On the side of the central area, I'm adding a little bit of tan color. And again, I feel like adding more contrast with warm gray three just where the fabric is overlapping to show the shadows that the upper layer gives to the lower layer and now i'm using pen touch i'm just putting all these dots and it's not very opaque so it looks more like um, glitter but not that strong as ones of crystals and it just gives this shining effect and with white ink pen, I'm showing these edges of ruffles. And the same way that we drew the ornament before, we are going to finish the whole ornament in the lower part of the skirt. So just follow me. So this is how it's gonna look like. So I'm adding more of those horizontal stripes with warm gray one. So adding some shadows because this fabric is not, is not that firm. It's, it folds a little bit, especially in the low part since it's touching the ground.
I'm using tan color for the central area, back part, like second layer of the fabric, so it looks a bit darker. So I'm using the same tan color to darken those horizontal stripes and just to darken a bit the shadows and adding some texture on that piece of fabric. So next I'm going to show the reflection using white ink gel pen. So it really looks like uh, different stretched shapes. Some I'm really like uh, far from Shakespeare to describe what I'm doing, but you can see. And I hope you're watching in a full screen mode. So next I'm adding a little bit of warm gray 3. Okay, so more of the highlights. And the highlights on that darker fabric. I want to add a little bit of yellow to this reflection but I think uh, first one I chose a bit too dark yellow so I am using the same buttercup color that I used for these side ruffles next I'm using lilac color so for that open area and then adding just here and there it's better than just boring gray it gives more of the pigment next i'm using black pencil just to show some details and we are finishing this sketch i hope you enjoyed this tutorial please write your suggestions and comments below and uh, subscribe to fsketcher channel for more tutorials follow sketcher on instagram like it on facebook Check our sketch website and see you next tutorial.